Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the New York Mets. Ladies and gentlemen, first pitch coming your way next. Top of the second. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, King Tejada. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Whitley back to work. Fought off foul. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. 0-2 oh, now. Bounce to the right. Lugo. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Ronnie Mauricio now. Not shortstop. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. On the ground, two ball. Over to Lau. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Stepping in the long ball threat, King Tejada. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful on, when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, right field. Shelley makes the grab, and there's two down. So two down. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonso. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Here's a one-two. Out to short, Tejada. Fires over to first. That ends the frame. Down in order go the Mets. Still no score. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player, Francisco? Dives, but it's off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. King Tejada up next for the Red Sox. This guy with light tower power. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. Bounced and that got the pitcher. Safe at first and now we'll check on the right hander. Hope he's all right. The comebacker got him down low and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg which might be a concern Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, boo. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Save. Singy, the best way to catch this guy might be on replay. Yeah, and sometimes it's the only way to catch him, Boog. I mean, you see that sprint speed on StatCast right there. It's elite, and just makes it very tough on the defense. A lot of pressure on those guys. The one-two. Whitley throws over. Tejada trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. They put the tag on him, and that's out number Bottom of the Three, inning, four, and stepping four, in for New York, Ronnie no, Mauricio. No, no, no. Mauricio. Up the middle, Tejada. 
tosses to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now the left fielder, Jeff Torres. On the ground to the left, Tejada. Sends it across to first. That's out number two. Now the first base. And welcome back. And now the shortstop, King Tejada. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Allen back to work. Got him to chase one above the zone there. Now he breaks his bat. Lugo. Save! Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Go ahead, run on base. Devers now. Ground ball right side could be two. To Mauricio for one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Rudder at second, two down. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw to first, ball game. And the Red Sox used three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. A shutout in this one, 3 nothing. our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.